What is up boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Weapons Reviews for Black Ops 2 versus all the weapons, or weapons coming in Black Ops 2 versus the weapons that are already in Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3. Also guys, I'm sorry that this is so late, I'm supposed to have made this video like last week, but I was depending on people to get me gameplay and stuff like that, but yesterday I got my PVR, so obviously I could get gameplay for myself. Now this is an MP7 gameplay because it needs to be, on the map interchange I was playing team deathmatch, I think I went 26 to 10, but that, that doesn't really matter, we're just here to do the comparison for the weapons and see how this weapon has changed, if it's been improved, or you know, degraded in Black Ops 2 compared to Black Ops 1. Now in a few moments you guys will see the stats for the uh, MP7 on Modern Warfare 3 right now and I'll go warn you guys though I don't know if you played Modern Warfare 3 before but the MP7 is definitely an overpowered weapon. For some reason I couldn't just hit that guy there it was so hard. Anyway guys here is the stats for the MP7 on Modern Warfare 3 at the moment and then guys it is beast I mean it's an over overpowered weapon like I said, I love using it, it's got 40 rounds per minute I think, uh, 20 rounds I'm not sure, but it's a good weapon to use, it's got low recoil, very 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 low recoil because when I shoot with it, the weapon doesn't fire back at me like a rocket, <laughs> but yeah, it's a good weapon to use, you can get killed with it and the fact that it's overpowered also helps you out a little bit, and yeah so the MB7 is a good weapon to use in Modern Warfare 3, I enjoy using it. 40 pounds per minute, 40 pounds per minute, low recoil, and I don't think that should change in Black Ops 2 as well because the MP7 is already a good weapon and you know it's good to get kills and the only thing they can do is just to take it down, they can't improve it anymore I don't think. But in a few seconds you see the stats for Black Ops 2 MP7, couldn't find a good image for the gun itself so I had to just bring what I had, but here it is guys, here is the stats for Black Ops 2 MP7 and let's see how this weapon has changed. Now, first to begin with, guys, I don't think it's going to change that much. It does still have low recoil. The recoil isn't that high because, obviously, like I said, the recoil was great before. There'll be no need for them to change the recoil as well as the fact that, like I said, the recoil is already great. Now, also, guys, the only thing I think has changed with this weapon might be its accuracy, and I think they've increased accuracy a little bit more. The accuracy seems to have a bit more bars on the stats I'm looking at and that's the only thing I think they've changed. They've increased the damage a lot more though. From the stats on the screen at the bottom as you guys can see from the MP7 and 1 over 3 to the stats you can see on the screen from Black Ops 2, the damage seems to have increased quite a lot. There seems to be a length of like chat bar, chat bar, so I think that's a good thing. The range seems to be the same, the accuracy seems to be the same, but the mobility is always the highest. As you guys know, it's a submachine gun, so it always, always has high mobility, high to move with, you know, you can run fast with, the, with your player and stuff like that. So I don't think a lot has changed in this weapon apart from the damage. I think the damage is slightly increased. I think that's a good thing, obviously, because more damage you have more kills you get. You can see guys, I'm looking at this right here, the damage seems to have increased, which is a good thing because, you know, more damage, more kills. So basically guys, that's the comparison I've done for MP7. It's a weapon I use quite a lot, it's one of my favorite weapons. I'm about to get a gold in Modern Warfare 3, and I'm hoping I can get a gold in Black Ops 2 as well. Um, Black Ops 2 is two weeks away, and I really can't wait to bring you guys weapon comparisons of the weapons in Black Ops 2. The next video will be a sniper comparison but with the MSR and another sniper in Black Ops 2. Well yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you agree with the points I made, please leave in the, a comment in the comment section below. It really helps me to know whether you guys agree with the comparisons I've made. And if you don't, let me know as well about what you think about the comparisons I've made. So basically guys, this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Not the best gameplay because I'm not the best player. <laughs> well yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What I could find was that the mobility of the weapons a lot it's about the same as the Black Ops 1 Scorpion and it's not really changed that much. The damage though has changed and I'm looking at a lot of stats thing here and it looks like the damage is about four or five bars, which isn't that bad. The range is decreased though, uh, so which means well to be honest the range hasn't decreased, the range seems to be 